Namo Adida Fa. Good morning. Thank you for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The second mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by exploitation, social injustice, stealing, and oppression. I vow to cultivate loving kindness and learn ways to work for the well-being of people, animals, plants, and minerals. I will practice generosity by sharing my time, energy, and material resources with those who are in real need. I am determined not to steal and not to possess anything that should belong to others. I will respect the property of others, but I will prevent others from profiting from human suffering or the suffering of other species on earth. Today's Dharma reading is A Bowl Full of Light by Lungpur Pasano. This is from Beginning Our Day by the Monastics of Abhyagiri Monastery. I've been reading a book on Hawaiian spirituality, and there's a beautiful image that Hawaiians use. Each one of us is born into the world with a bowl full of light, and for each unskillful choice we make throughout our lives, getting caught up in anger, conflict, or selfishness. It's as if we put a rock in the bowl. The more rocks that are placed in the bowl, the less room there is for light. In our daily life practice, by examining what it is we are doing, we can reflect on whether we are a being of light or a being of rocks and pebbles. When we recognize that we have accumulated any kind of rocks or pebbles, we learn how to tip over the bowl and dump the rocks out. This helps us look after that bowl of light and return to making choices that are more skillful. Light is a universal image that is used across all religious and spiritual traditions. In the first discourse of the Buddha, the Dhammachaka Pawatana Sutta, there is the contemplation of the Four Noble Truths and the implementing of the Eightfold Path. The stock phrases that follow this are kakum udapadi, nyanam udapadi, panya udapadi, vija udapadi, aloko udapadi. Vision arises, knowledge arises, wisdom arises, clear seeing arises, and light arises. There is a sense of light coming into being. From the Buddhist perspective, when we establish and develop a continuity of training with the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, it brings light into the mind and into our being. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you for joining me this morning.